The Lord be with you. Today at Nirana we had a beautiful funeral for a beautiful life well lived. It was a sad occasion, but a time of gathering and worshiping together and healing together. Funerals are one of the things that we do best as church. We need each other. And on the grief journey, especially so. It's a complicated journey. It's a very difficult thing to do. And it's pretty much impossible to do well on our own. We need each other. Occasionally, someone will say, I don't want a funeral. Best thing to do in that case is smile politely, say yes, I understand. And then promptly forget completely about it. Because that's a request that need not be honored. After all, are they going to be there to protest? No, only their body remains. Their awareness is gone. And you need each other. It's not about them. The funeral is not about the person who has died. It really is about and for those who remain, those of us who are here to grieve. And we do that best when we do it together. So, family of God, beloved of God, love one another, support one another, care for one another, grieve together and celebrate together. We are family. We are one in Christ who has knit us together as a body. And funerals are important because the community matters and we need each other. I thank you profoundly from my heart for the opportunity to participate in funerals, in these celebrations of life and these remembrances of life. Because it calls us to make sure that there is life before death. That we have lived well, loved one another well. And are challenged to grow in Christ. And to grow as a community together. Love one another. <laughs>